Hi there, and welcome back to Pinch of Cooking Channel, where we usually make simple and delicious foods. But today we're taking a break from cooking and we'll have some Halloween fun by making these cute dark and white chocolate toppers. They're a fun project to make and almost no artistic talent is required. Here are the supplies that we will need for this project. First, Google and print some free traceable Halloween images. The simpler the better here. Some piping bags or a zipper bags or any other bag that you can cut a corner off. Scissors, scotch tape, parchment paper, which is a baking paper you can see through, chocolate chips or candy melts. Secure your traceable image with scotch tape to the counter. Followed by the parchment paper on which we will draw with chocolate. Melt your chocolate either in a bag or in a separate container, depending if you're melting it in the microwave or on the stovetop. Twist the top of the bag to prevent spilling from the wrong side of the bag when you start piping. Cut off the tippy top and test out the chocolate on a separate piece of paper. The chocolate will come out smoothly if you hold the bag at 45 degree angle and squeeze lightly. Let's start piping and remember the stay within the lines is completely optional. Same process for the spider. Uh, just keep in mind to keep all the lines connected and thick enough that when you lift off the finished product of the page, it's not going to be too fragile. Now we will work on our black and white decorations. First pipe out the eyes, the mouth and the outline. Now let's get our white chocolate ready. Whether I'm using actual white chocolate or candy melt, I always microwave it in 20 second increments just to make sure that I don't overcook it by accident and let it seize up, which it sometimes it has a tendency to do. If you microwave it and it still looks kind of thick, uh, you could always thin it out by adding shortening or vegetable oil. Twist close the top and just pipe over the entire picture. Make sure not to smudge the eyes and the mouth in the process. Now onto our last project, cute little bat. We will kind of do the reverse of what we did for the ghost. We'll make the eyes and the mouth in white and cover the body of the bat in dark chocolate. Now let's pop them in the fridge about 10 to 15 minutes for the chocolate to harden up. And I like to use a cutting board to transfer them in and out of the fridge to make sure that they don't break in the process. When decorations are ready, they should be hard and easily come off the parchment paper. If they're sticky or um, a little soft, just pop them back into the fridge and let them cool off a little longer.
What do you guys think? Pretty cute, huh? If you like what you see, hit subscribe, like, and come back to our channel for more awesome content.